Hey what's up everyone this is Ravi from TechPost and in this video I will share my views and review the Dell Inspiron 7560 after using it for 6 months. You can subscribe to our channel if you like videos like this. I also upload videos related to unboxing gadgets, phones and how to tech guides. So do consider subscribing to our channel if you want to see some interesting tech videos. Now moving ahead, the Dell Inspiron 7560 is a nice looking premium laptop from Dell. Let's start with the beautiful looking bezel-less display. The bezel-less Full HD 1080p true IPS display is amazing. These thin bezels really adds beauty and look to this laptop. But there is an issue with display itself. Many users commented that their 7560 is having color bleeding issues which was not with me until one day I noticed uh, this just after 3 months of usage. You can see color bleed when you turn on the PC and when the screen is completely black. You need to turn off room lights or get in the dark only then you will be able to see color bleed. So it's not a good option for people who are into photo editing and designing due to the color accuracy this display offers. Another part is battery life of uh, Dell 7560. It gives around 4 hours to me on an average which includes surfing the internet, downloading content and watching videos on YouTube, Netflix, etc. Please note that my Chrome browser stays open with at least 7 to 8 taps which consumes both RAM and processing. But still that backup is seriously not impressive at all. I don't do video editing or run heavy apps on battery power. I always use power adapter while using Adobe Premiere Pro, After Effects and while playing games sometimes. The good thing is Dell provides a dedicated software called Dell Power Manager Lite which protects the battery from overcharging while on adapter mode. This software intelligently uses the power from the adapter to run the laptop at its full speed while improving lifespan of the battery. So a big thumbs up to Dell for that. Next is the 940MX graphics card. Although this Dell Inspiron 7560 comes with a DDR5 4GB graphics card, but that still is a 940MX which has a very poor performance while gaming. So if you think that you can play games like Witcher Hunt or GTA, you can, but at low frame rates and that too on low graphic settings. The 940MX is not good at handling graphics and it has its limitations. It's a low power graphics card specially designed for laptops and ultrabooks to save power. Now the interesting thing is while on battery power the 940MX runs at 25 to 40% of its full power but as soon as you connect the Dell 7560 to a power cord the system starts performing at full speed and at full power but still it's not a good option for gaming even if you are a casual gamer. Now coming to the coil wine and heating issues the laptop is very quiet and that's a very good thing but soon you will realize the effect of quietness when the system starts to heat up quickly when you play a game or work on software like premiere pro and after effects doing some serious rendering tasks the fan starts running at full speed which is obvious but doesn't produce much sound it's quiet the system has a single cooling fan which is a little inefficient in cooling the gpu and the cpu when required the keyboard area gets very warm if you play or work for long like an hour or so so that's an issue with this system and performance obviously goes down as it heats up but that's not significant for example when you play a game like witcher hunt at low graphics and 720p you get frame rate around 40 fps max but as you play the fps starts going down and drops to 30 34 frames per second and i'm talking at low graphic settings this could further go down as you play for longer while working on premiere pro i don't feel any major issues it works really well even when it's hot now let's talk about the storage and ram this laptop is equipped with 1 tb hybrid sata hard disk drive with 8 gb cache and 128 gb ssd from a data it's an m.2 ssd drive not a pcie or nvme it's called m sata i got lot of questions regarding the ssd guys it's an m.2 sata ssd which supports speeds up to 6 gbps only 
the boot time is around 10 to 12 seconds i do feel that there should have been nvme or at least pcie slot for ssd instead of msata the performance could have been significantly better with pcie slot ram which comes with dell 7560 is a hynix 8 gb ddr4 ram clocked at 2400 MHz, but the system utilizes the RAM at 2133 MHz. And I have talked to customer support both on call and email and believe me guys, they have no idea about this. You can see in the BIOS, it says 2133 MHz, but when you look inside Dell 7560, you will find the RAM which is clogged at 2400 MHz. Now this is a big issue with this laptop but I hope this will be resolved soon with a new BIOS update from Dell. So those are the issues and reasons why you shouldn't buy Dell 7560 but still I am pretty happy with my purchase. The laptop looks really nice and weighs 2 kg. Uh, little heavy but that's okay it's a 15 inch model. Other than that the system performs well. I purchased this for video editing not for games. If you want a gaming laptop, do consider the Dell Inspiron 7567 which comes with NVIDIA 1050 Ti card and was recently launched in India. It's one of the best budget gaming beasts available in the market. So do check out Dell 7567. The links are given in the description. Please subscribe to our channel right now for more such videos, how to guides and much more related to tech. Like this video, share this video and don't forget to leave your valuable feedbacks, suggestions and your thoughts about the Dell Inspiron 7560. If you already own it, please mention problems you are facing or if you are happy with the purchase or not. This will help our viewers to decide for which laptop or ultrabook they should go for. I will be back with another interesting video soon. Thanks for watching guys. Have a wonderful time.